Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from the grounds of the Pink Palace Museum on early Thursday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a live weather update for you. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We're just on a few, few dozen feet away from Central Avenue, so you can hear the traffic passing by early on Thursday morning right at the peak of rush hour. We've also got a pretty decent amount of uh, railroad traffic in and around the area, so you're probably going to hear some whistles in the background there. Forecast information in the blue bar right here, social media information down here in the red bar, and also over there, and also over there, and all over the place. So if you want to find me on social media, just look for me. I'm out there someplace. More information about the forecast into the weekend coming up with Todd Demers on Live at 9, also on New Channel 3 at noon, and of course, Tim and Jim will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early into the early evening hours as well. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online, and we'll keep you advised throughout the rest of the day. Let's get started with earthquakes in the Mid-South. Not really too much to show you at this time. Matter of fact, things are pretty decently quiet. We have not had any earthquakes on the New Madrid fault line within the last 24 hours, so things are decently quiet here. Traffic, wish that was the case. Unfortunately, we do have some pretty good, decent amounts of backups as usual, and several accidents taking place in parts of the Mid-South, including that normal slowdown in and around I. 40 and Whitten Road, also back over toward around West Memphis in Arkansas. More or less, things are moving along pretty nicely at this time, but as per usual, there's always going to be those backups out there. This particular view courtesy of Vanderbilt University's Center for Transportation Research, the vector cameras, all the Memphis TDOT Smartway cameras in one place. Great place to go to for more information. You just have to search Vanderbilt vector traffic on Google or your favorite search engine. You should be able to find your way here pretty easily. More of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams across the entire Mid-South area. you got numerous webcams out there you can take a look at to see what's going on in and around the Mid-South. Downtown Memphis, a beautiful morning so far. Not too much in the way of cloud cover, but our cotton exchange cam showing the Mississippi River and the southern end of Mud Island looking pretty nice so far this morning, so looking pretty good across much of the area. On the river stage of things, we are still noticing, again, a little bit of a rise just to the north of the Mid-South area. The crest around Osceola is going to be happening in the next few days at about 24.7 feet. What's called action stage, that yellow bar that you see there as that arc of numbers goes upwards, Action stage is the lowest level of what is technically flooding. We say technically because what we see when that happens is the flooding effects become a little bit more uh, noticeable. You start to see farmland flooded on either side of the Mississippi River, and that's what we're seeing at this point in time. Now, for Memphis, we do not have anything going on. It's, the river is still rising. It's cresting in about the next couple of days through the weekend and then dropping back down later on next week, but it does not show any sign of making its way toward action stage at this time, so it's going to be a little higher, but not as bad as it could be, so definitely good news on that. We'll keep our eyes on that. If you'd like to see more about the rivers in the Mid-South area, you can go to water.weather.gov or go to the National Weather Service in Memphis at weather.gov slash MEG. That's their designator for the National Weather Service in Memphis. Click on rivers and lakes and you'll see more about all this information on your website and great opportunity to see more uh, in and around the Mid-South where it comes to that detail. We've got some showers and a few thunderstorms out around the Rio Grande and into around portions of the area close to around Oklahoma, southwest Kansas, and back to around areas of northern Mexico, but really just not that much where we are at this time. We still have that storm system going north of us, and that warm front is going to be making its way back to the north and the east as that makes its way up that direction. We could get a glancing blow of a few showers. This is definitely not the forecast we saw last night. It has, in fact, changed a lot. Now, by the time we hit the end of the weekend, we may see some more moisture coming on through, but it looks like our chances of rainfall are decently limited at this time. As we go throughout the rest of the morning, most of that activity we just showed you on the radar should be staying well back to our west, so good news on that. Rest of the day today showing temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s. Low temperatures tonight, not all that low, only back in the lower to mid 60s, so very much on the warm side out there. And then getting into Friday, 
temperatures back in the lower 80s. Chances of rain start to make their way into the forecast again slowly as we get into Friday afternoon, mainly from a line around Dyersburg to Blytheville to Jonesboro. Areas north of that line may see better possibilities of showers and thunderstorms out there. And then as we get into Friday night, low temperatures once again, not entirely cool, but decent enough for this time of the year back in the lower 60s. Chances of showers and thunderstorms nowhere to be seen by the time we get into around Saturday morning. So the weekend starts off looking pretty good. Highs on Saturday back in the lower 80s. Highs on Sunday a little cooler thanks to the clouds and also the chances of rainfall, which are really going to start to ramp up into around areas of Saturdays or Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And that's where we see the best possibility in that dark shaded green area in the areas north of I-40. Uh, that will continue off and on right into Monday. So more chances of showers in and around the Mid-South into the course of the next couple of days, at least into the latter half of the weekend anyway. If you'd like more information about what's going on, join me on my Facebook page for tons of information out there involving literacy, science, all kinds of stuff about weather, uh, new information coming through from NASA regarding oceans off-world, and also information about what's going on with the Cassini space probe, which is nearing its end. If you'd like to know more about that, NASA will have a live netcast coming up at 1 p.m. Mid-South time today, I'll be uh, po posting that on my Facebook page and other social media pages so you can check out more about what's going on there. So really exciting news coming out from NASA, a new press conference. So we'll see what that begins to give us uh, later on today. And we'll be following along with that. So keep it tuned here and we'll keep you updated on that. Rest of the day looks pretty quiet. We'll have updates on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3. So stay tuned for Todd Demers on Live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon. And Jim Jaggers has more on your complete forecast that's coming up later tonight along with Tim Simpson on News Channel 3 first at 4 and following. Live and direct from the Pink Palace Museum grounds on a beautiful Thursday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3 on air and online. And thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.